Okay, so yeah, back with more Ben 10 this week. So it's Monday, it's Ben 10 recording night. Yay! Right, uh, last time was a hell of a premiere for season three, the Ben 10,000 episode. It was awesome. Although maybe slightly spoilery for what comes in the future. Like, just to name one of the aliens, the Arctic Guana. Maybe we'll see that by the end of this series or this particular series. Maybe we'll see it in Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, which will be cool. Because I really like that they'd tie those two series together like that. Because really, there's no need to. You could just It could have just been a reboot of Ben 10, which they have done. Or they have done. But Ben 10 Ultimate Alien could have just been like a completely different thing. But they decided to tie them together. So, yeah. So maybe Arctic Guana and those other aliens will show up in that show, which will be cool. It was also a Vilgax and Dr. Animo episode, which... Love that we see Vilgax, but why does he get to play second fiddle to Animo? I'm sorry, Animo, but you're a bitch compared to Vilgax. Yeah, uh, going to be writing down more notes this this week. Well, I've got, got nothing written down yet, so... Going to be writing down more notes, so... And I've got to be careful because... I've learned that the longer the longer the review goes on afterwards, the longer is the video when I'm editing it and the longer it takes to export. So in the interest of not having to do a four hour exporting session for for this video, I'll have to make the review kind of short at the end. So yeah, but what's the point of making the review short if the intro's too long? So yeah, let's just get into the new episode of Ben 10. Season 3, episode 2, starting now! <laughs> oh, well, it's, it's, it's small of a few things now because we've been robbed. Was that Rip Jaws I see? Nope, Wild Mo okay. Acrobatic old people. He just stands there roaring <laughs> with his mouth open and lets them hit him. Or is it just a look in shock? With, without the eyes, you can't tell how he's feeling. Well, what his emotion is. <laughs> Jesus! That reminds me of shot him. Captain America, Civil War, when Bucky and Cap are beating up Iron Man. Wow. Some kind of rabid dog with no eyes. Hypnotist. Knowing this show, he's probably to do with what was happening with those old people last night. Well, Gwen's going to love this. Oh, no. Yeah, joke is very over. No. Hypnotist. We've got Ben doing his dirty work. But why the motor for a ride? Why is Upgrade running on all fours? Yo, Upgrade is terrifying. I love it when he does that. He makes something look so much cooler. Oh dear. Time sure flies when you go alien. Time flies, pun. I've got to write that down. We're going to have to keep you awake and away from people until we can figure out how to stop your midnight strolls. <laughs> hey! What'd you do that for? Just doing my job. <sighs> Oh, 
monstrous. Ice cold. Uh, you had one job. Why the clock? And why a ride? He's hypnotized as well. Yes, you said that already. But I'm saying your shoppers are in danger. This was an isolated incident. The mall is open for business. He's hypnotized just to say that. What? He could... I'm sure we're about to see. Ah, okay. He's making a giant hypnotic device. That's why he was stealing all that stuff. Oh, God. And now he's handcuffed. Oh dear. Gwen, come back. God damn. <laughs> Keys. Uh oh. Eesh. You may control every last person. But what about our plan? Yes, Wild Wine getting some action for the first time in a while. Oh dear. Really? Driving a driving a car in a mall. Down the stairs. <laughs> oh god. Why is Gwen the one driving? Oh dear. That's... Ah! <laughs> That's uh... Oh god. I like how he just jumps through that w that security window with no problem, but then he smashes into a, a, a shop window and doesn't break it. Really? Is this is this? Are we just gonna catch him? Oh no! Big up Ben. The hypnotist the hypnotism thing didn't last long. <laughs> Looks like your time is up. Nice job, Ben. Ben <laughs> He finally gets to sleep. She's faking. His face. Yes, master. Yeah. Psych. You want anything else, master? Just a different cousin. <laughs> wow. That, it was a good episode. That it was. It was fun. It was a fun episode. Uh, not much to say about it. I only got the, I only got down three notes: hypnotist, time flies, pun, and the handcuffs. But there's not much to talk about there. 
at first, when we were seeing, like, the the old people doing, like, all the fighting and stuff, I thought we were going to go back to, remember the, in season one, episode four, the old, the old people's town, where the, there was those aliens who were snatching up the old people and then were doing crazy stuff. I thought we were going back to those guys for a second. But no, we got introduced to Subliminal. I imagine... Will he be a one-off villain or will be a, he be a recurring villain going forward? Because then we've just expanded the villain roster, which is always good. Hypnotist villain, uh, obviously, like Mad Hatter from DC. I don't know what kind of what kind of hypnotist villain is there in... I'm sure there's a hypnotist villain in Marvel somewhere, but he's not been in the MCU yet, I don't think, so I'm, I don't really know. Most of my MCU, most of my Marvel villains knowledge comes from the MCU. I'm much more knowledgeable on DC, but yeah, there hasn't been really. But yeah, a hypnotist villain is always fun. You can get some really good stuff out of that. He 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 managed to control everyone inside that one mall, and then it lasted for like. Barely five minutes, so tough break to him. How was he? How was he beaten again? Was he? Oh, he was just he was just knocked out by the car door. Okay, okay. Yeah, it it was a very it was a it was a good episode. The the bit about maybe Gwen teasing Ben to do to do with the hypnotist stuff. It it's it's predictable. It's it's predictable at this point. Their relationship. You know how it's got. You know how it's going to go. Like, the second something even mildly bad looks like it's going to happen to one of them, you know the other one's just going to have the best time of their life. Like, the second the second Ben said that only someone with half a brain can be hypnotised, you knew exactly what Gwen was about to do. Like, when he was brought up on stage and he was beginning to act like a baby, you knew, you knew Gwen was going to have the best time of her life. And when, at the end, when Ben was trying to hypnotise Gwen and she closed her eyes, it was so obvious that she was faking it and she was about to terrorise him. Because their relationship is like that. And the, fa- and, the, and the bit about him and the bit about trying to keep him awake as well, Gwen was just tormenting him. Their relationship is predictable but fun and I love it. Thankfully, I don't. Thankfully, I don't have any. Well, I do. I do have a sibling, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we were put in this situation, she would behave like that. But I don't think any of my cousins would. And I've got eight of them. No, six of them. Why did the mall cops think that those old, those people who had who had robbed the, the mall had released a rabbit dog that looks like a that was giant and had no eyes? Or ears, or nose. A rabid dog that looks like wild mutt. We got we got quite a few aliens this episode, like for, just from the top of my head. Uh, I'm thinking of I can see, uh, there's wild mutt, grey matter, heat blast. There was a hint of diamond head, but obviously we didn't actually see it. Wild vine. Okay, four aliens. That's pretty much standard. I thought there was a lot more, but there wasn't. Oh no, upgrade as well, so five. Upgrade sequence was mad. Like taking over the helicopter and then taking over the taking over the giant clock. Time fly the time flies pun. <laughs> so that's what I don't get I don't get it. What was he because I assume the I assume like the wave that puts everyone under under mind control comes from the little stopwatch he has. So why did he bother making the giant one at all? Because even though he had the big one, he still had to set off his he still had to set off the little one to control everyone. So what was the point of making the big one? Yeah, I don't care. You you just have to suspend your disbelief in shows like this. I didn't get any many notes down for this one. There wasn't much to talk about, 
and anything that is worthy of talking about, I already have talked about. So I think for now, that's just where we leave it. I didn't expect it to be as good as the finale, but it it and it was st- it was still very fun. It was a fun episode. For this week, Ben Ten is over. Come back next week, or if if you're watching this this week, you can probably watch the early access to the next episode for five dollars a month on my Patreon, as well as the as well as the full length reaction to this episode but if you just want the full length reaction you sub- you can subscribe to my Patreon for $3 so that's all we have for now so until next time we are over and out bye